get started. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Lamp is On. I am Johnny. I am Armani. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> so this is Deja vu. I'm crying. What? Oh. <laughs> so we are going to uh, jump right into episode. Y'all, we are not at the church uh, for this episode. Uh but we got Zoom, so we're going <laughs> to keep it rolling. Uh, Jeremy's not with us today, but we're going to try to do what we do. Uh, today we're talking about, we've been doing a lot on toxic behavior, but we're going to do a little bit because there's been a lot of things going on this past week. Dealing with toxic uh, and maturity. Yes. Yeah. Toxic people and maturity people. Mature people. Mature yeah. people. Yeah. So um, I think we can start with, since it's not a lot, we can start with uh, Lori and Michael. Lori and Michael. Okay. So, well, I'm going to explain it first because I don't, you said you really don't know a lot about the situation. And based on what I've been hearing on like social media and things, they called it quits because she basically was saying like she wanted to have fun. Her Like she, she said she wanted to have fun, um, which you can kind of conclude as to like, okay, she's not ready to settle down. She's still, you know, want to live her life kind of type of deal but that um so i don't know if michael b jordan was planning to propose to her or they were talking about marriage or whatever that made her uncomfortable and was just like whatever it is i think we need to call this a quiz because i still want to have fun like i still want to live my life or whatever um and with that with the reputation that she has people were like feeling sorry for um we're feeling sorry for Michael B. Jordan. Really? Yes. Because they were like, I feel so bad for him. Like, why would they say that? I mean, not what, why would they say that, but why would she say that? And um, stuff like that. So it's just... At first, I was like, yeah, she was wrong because it's just really the reputation that she has that's really like, you shouldn't have said that. What's the, what's the reputation she had? Because I, I didn't even know that Steve Harvey had a dog named Laura anyway. I don't, I don't even know her. Well, technically, that's not his daughter. That's okay. his... That's his uh, stepdaughter, but he adopted her at a young age. Oh, that's that's his uh, wife's. That's his wife's daughter. Wife. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, that's why. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So the reputation she has is basically, you know, the saying, "She's for the streets." Mm, okay. Now, with the past, you know, couple of relationships she's been in, yes. You can kind of tell, like, she's for the street. She's done been with a lot of guys, especially celebrities. But also, it comes to the point of, like, what does she do? Like, what is her job? Because nobody knows. Like, well, I don't, I don't know if anybody knows. But to me, I really don't think she does anything. Like, I think she's just Instagram. Fam- well, not really Instagram famous. She's Steve Harvey's daughter. So that's, of course, how she gets her clout. But she really doesn't do anything besides, I think she has a clothing line. But other than that, hmm. so is she considered toxic in this situation? Here's the thing. So I want to, uh, she, this is where it'd be so hard because you'd be like, no, kind of, yes, kind of not. <laughs> Okay, I would say toxic because of, again, the reputation she has. So toxic on that part. But mature, because if I'm not mistaken, I'm looking it up right now as we speak. Um, he is, he's older than her. Okay. 
Okay, he's 35, and I believe she is... She's 25. So they're 10 years apart. So when it comes to the maturity side, no, she wasn't wrong because of their age differences. She's 25. She's young. She hasn't experienced a lot. She's still trying to get life underneath her belt and stuff like that. So I can understand her saying, like, I'm not ready to settle down. I'm 25 years old. Like, she's not ready for that. So I totally, I totally under. So it goes both sides. It goes both sides. But a lot of people don't think about that. A lot of people just see it as, okay, y'all were such a cute couple. I looked up, I looked up to y'all as couple goals and I saw that y'all was going to maybe had a future together or whatever. And people just bypass all of that. I mean, not bypass that. They take that into consideration and that's like they die hard like they just go in on that and just be like dang i really thought i was gonna make it out and then they start shaming her for something that she said but they're not looking on the other side well she is 25 you know what i'm saying i understand she's trying to live her life you know if you're 25 you kind of just coming out of college no depends depends right like if she was a normal kid or a normal Woman, woman, she'll be just coming out of college or either going back into college to get her master's or something. So I'm, I understand that part. Like she's just trying to have fun, like she said. I guess you know she's just not ready to settle down. And when you think about marriage and stuff like that, it a lot comes, a lot plays into that. I guess looking on the other end of it is that y'all knew each other's age, and y'all were together for about a year. And so he's ready. I'm pretty sure that conversation probably started uh, early on. Like, you know, he was saying that he wants to settle down. Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wasn't in the the situation to know if maybe she was leading him on to or or something like that. Um, But I'm like, that was a quick just shut off. You know, that's it. And then y'all were in the public eye. Right. And so that's yeah. what makes it even more worse than what it is because y'all are in the public. So everybody knows. Uh, everybody loves Michael B. Jordan. And so they're, of course, they're going to be against her because why would you do him wrong like that? You know, I don't know. Uh, as soon as after the breakup, they showed the little clip of him at the game. <laughs> Oh, at the finals game? <laughs> and he was sitting next to... um, Who was he sitting next to? I don't know who he was by, but he was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> so would it yeah. make sense, though, uh, to... Level it out now that you said that there's an age difference. Could you level out maturity by age? Yes and no. Okay, well, here's why I say yes and no. Okay, because when it comes down to certain things like marriage and stuff like dating life, yes, age-wise, maturity level-wise, yes, that plays a part. But if we're talking about education-wise or like actually being mature and age-wise, that really doesn't play a part because like I'm 19, but I'm very mature for my age and I've always been mature for my age. But as in to dating and stuff like that i'm not mature for my age because you know i haven't had that much experience so it differs it di- yeah it's different i don't know about you what's your take on it i i think it does uh play a a, a huge part when it comes to dating um because both sides have to be in it uh, for the long haul, because you're talking about marriage, you're not talking about a couple of weeks. Exactly. Like marriage is, well, it's supposed to be a lifetime 
you know, commitment. But a lot of people, when when you hear marriage, a lot of people run from it. So I don't know if that uh, she heard marriage because I, I saw a lot of people saying that he did propose. Oh, so you heard that? I I didn't hear that. Yeah, I heard. I, I saw some posts or something that said that he proposed and she turned down his proposal. Mm, I didn't hear that. And so maybe she heard marriage and she got scared and, and said, "Nope, nope." I'm out. <laughs> We're doing fine just dating. But mm -hmm. marriage, nope. nope. And they've only been dating for... It's about a year. A year? Yeah. Let me, see. Yes. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. I guess it's... I guess... I feel as if, like... Okay, here's the thing with marriage. If you really find your lover... And you know that's like that's the person you want to be with for the rest of your life. It shouldn't take you that long to actually propose. I give it at least two years, though. Two years, okay. But a year, mm. you think that's too long? No, I think a year is too short. Oh, too short to propose? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have been two years. Like I need to see, I need to see all your signs of you, and I feel like two years is a good amount of time to see every sign. To see every sign. It's two years, a year and a half, or two years. I keep it there, but two, one year. This has been dating for a year and a half. Dang, it's been that long. Um, yeah. Oh, a year and a half. Um, dude, they weren't private about their relationship. It's been that long. That's another thing. Probably she. Probably they were moving too fast. <laughs> Wow. Like, okay, okay, just look at a year. Like a year's worth of time span. You have okay, like okay, a couple okay. Let's say let's go to like a dating like a dating phase or whatever. Okay, so first you got the talking stage. How long do you think people should talk? Talk? Yeah. Uh, talking stage, that's when you're not official, but you're trying to fill each other out. Yeah, and you like uh, getting to know each other. About probably about three to six months. God dang. Three to six months. Yeah. What, you, what, <laughs> you're saying something different? Smart is a <laughs> Six months is a long time. I'm still here to talk and stay for somebody. Yeah. But uh, it I takes see time, it. it takes time to to know exactly do I want to make this thing official? Because I I feel like a lot of times we get into we jump into stuff too quick, and we say okay I'm a, we're gonna talk for a couple of weeks and then we're gonna start dating and then all of a sudden. No, we're good. Well, I wouldn't give it six months. I like the months, but I say at least three to four. I think three. just six. Is, I think you just six don't like you just don't like six. <laughs> Who said I didn't like six weeks? You you said that's too long. Okay, six months is too long to be in a talking stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, let's take it from your perspective. If you say the talking stage is six months, right? Okay, six months, that means half of that one year of y'all dating, the other six months, you are literally preparing for marriage. That means you went from the talking stage. <laughs> no. It's not into dating. That's what I'm saying. I feel like a year is too short. You get what I'm saying? Right, so, no, you shouldn't be. So you're saying talk about marriage after the second six months? 
Hey, yes, 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 yes. So, like, the first six months, if you say that's how long the talking state should be, okay, first six months, January to June. Mm-hmm. First six months. Okay. Which is a good month. No. <laughs> okay, January to June. He only said that because his birthday. Whatever. Okay, January to June. Uh-huh. That's the first six months. Uh-huh. Okay. That's y'all are talking. By July, y'all start dating. By July to December, okay, y'all are dating. That's six months. Okay. By January, like just say if people was to say, okay, it takes one year. By January, if y'all are ready to get married, that's a problem. That's a problem. After dating for six months. Yes. Okay, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Because even though y'all are seeing like y'all known each other for six years, y'all known each other for a whole month, y'all got to break this up. So we got to think about, okay, during no- these entire 12 months, how long did y'all start? How long were y'all talking? How long were y'all in the day phase? Did y'all ever break up and then start back thinking it? Like, what's the what's here? <laughs> so you don't think people can... Uh discuss all of that the ins and the outs uh because you know you got to deal with finance you got to deal do you want children uh what job are you going to have in the future you don't think all that can be talked about within those six months maybe maybe but you're still saying a year just too fast yeah Okay. Think, think, think of this. Think of but this. the thing is, the thing is, though, I can propose, but that don't mean we got to get married right now. Right. Okay, that's true too. But I still feel as if you getting down on one knee in a year. No. I you understand where have... you're coming from with that. I understand where you're coming from with yeah, that. You Even can, though people, I propose, yeah, we can understand. get we won't actually get married until. Two years from now. Yeah, mm-hmm. people have been engaged for it, even though that's crazy too. But <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. I we think that, right now. I think that your talking stage sh- should be short, and your engagement stage should be short. The longest should be your dating, and of course, marriage. Because the dating part is where you find out everything. Yes. We're talking to figure out whether we want to do this. Right. We're getting, we're getting to know each other, like yeah. the ins and outs. Yeah. And when we start doing it, the dating part, then we're finding out, do we want to, uh, are we going to make this a lifetime thing? Can we spend right. the rest of our lives together? Together. You right about that one. Okay, but okay. Here's the example I was gonna use for the year thing. Okay. Okay. So okay. So last year, May, I graduated, right? I graduated from high school. It's been a year already. Time has flown by so fast. It's been a year? Yes. like it's been a year already that's what i'm saying like that dating like from okay so say if like somebody was to propose to me while i was in high school okay you're seeing by this month i'm about to get married okay all right all right (laughs) that is so fast to me like okay understand like if you really know you really love that person, okay, yes. But a year is too soon. A year is too soon. Like, at least date for a year, you know, year and a half. I give it a year and four months, a year four, four to six months. But just like I... <laughs> I talk fast. Like, that is, it's just too fast. I can't... Mm-mm. Wow. Okay. I, I, I see you. Um, this is what Steve Harvey had to say. He said that he, talking about Michael B. Jordan, he's still a cool guy from what I know. It's a breakup. 
I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. People break up all the time. I went, oh, he got bars. I just wish I could have broke up without the cost factor. I got to start learning from my children, get out early. I waited too late. I don't know. What do you think? What does he mean by cost factor? Like what he lost within a relationship? I broke up without cost. I think he broke up and he had children. That cost him something. Right? Because uh, he broke up. He, he was married before. and he about himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, talking about a different relationship. No. So I was like, what's cost to him? Let's talk about himself. He said he wished, okay. I wish I could have broke up without the cost factor. So, like, they don't have anything to lose. They don't have nothing to lose because they don't have a child together and all that stuff. Okay, so he's basically saying, like. He wished he would have learned from, from them. From they broke okay, up okay. before, you know, doing something that will cost them the rest of their lives. Together. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because if they had or, a child together, they would be stuck together whether they got married or not. Right. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. But in other news, we have Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Do you know the situation? Yep. <laughs> so, oh, he, Johnny, he learned everything from TikTok. Oh, Johnny, uh, I'll be right back. Let me see what old Johnny said. Wait, I'm gonna find it. Hold on. <sighs> Oh, oh, John and he he did a uh, I just had it. They sued. They were suing each other. Um, yeah. Yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. defamation lawsuit against each other. Right. And what does defamation really mean? Um, it's for oh, uh, damages or something. You could look it up. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. Deformation. Yeah, damages of uh, their reputation. So, like, so he's damages so physically or mentally? Mentally. Well, his, on so his part, were... on his part, yeah, he can sue for just about anything now. That is true. He was suing uh, $50 million in damages over a 2018 opinion, listen now, opinion uh, literatorial essay in the Washington Post in which she said that she had become a public figure representing domestic Abuse. So I guess she was saying that he was domestically abusing her. And uh, I found it quite interesting. They got divorced in 2016. Um, but clearly it wasn't over after that. Yeah, That's my whole thing. With when we're talking about the dating and all that stuff, you got to make sure that you want to be with that person. <laughs> so you know, it costs more to get divorced than it is to get married, <laughs> especially if you got something to lose. Right. And so, like, clearly, they probably didn't date long enough in, in your book. <laughs> <laughs> but they were both already in the spotlight. Both actors. Um, I did not watch the whole trial, but I saw some clips of her and uh, her testimony. And I don't know if it's true or not, 
but I, you know, I watch the stuff on TikTok and they add the other stuff. And so as she was doing her testimony, they were showing what he did in the uh, in his movies. Exactly what she was saying is what he was doing. Yeah, in yeah it, it, it's crazy. Trial is yeah, that trial was very much. The actions leading up to the trial were very much toxic, I can say. On her end or his? Well, from what I heard, he really, well, what I've been listening to, and this, this is really my own opinion, I feel as if he really hasn't done anything. She was just making it all up to seem as if he's done anything, but I really do think she's she she's like she really was the problem because she's crazy yeah she is i got this video i really want to play the video you're on mute on the other side mm-hmm. you're on the other call now oh i was getting ready to join i put my airpod in so i can hear it through my phone oh because i'm about to play this video and i didn't want to interrupt oh no go ahead go ahead all right, y'all. I'm about to play this video. It's a quick video. I don't blame them. I actually understand. He's a beloved character, and people feel they know him. He's a fantastic actor. Their job is to not be dazzled by that. Their job is to look at the facts and the evidence, and they did not believe your testimony or your evidence. I, again, how, how could they, after listening to three and a half weeks of testimony about how I was a non-credible person? Just a girl. <laughs> She's a terrible actress. <laughs> You didn't even know she was an actress. Yeah, she's in uh, Aquaman and something else. I've never heard of her before oh. the show. <laughs> I've never heard of her. <laughs> oh, let me see what movie she's been in that you might know. She's, uh, um, I think she's in Pirates of the Caribbean, too. That's how him and her met. Is she? Yes. No? Oh, she's not? No. Oh, that's what I heard. I've never seen Paris. Of the been, oh, I actually used to like that movie. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Um, no. She was in, they were in Rome Diary together. Rome Diary? No. Don't worry. You don't know anything about that. She was in uh, Magic Mike. You ever oh. seen Magic Mike, but I've heard of it. Okay. Uh, the Stepfather? Nope. All right. <laughs> the Joneses. She was the mother. All right. Uh, Friday Night Lights. Part of your life. Friday Night Lights. No. <laughs> I've never heard of this lady. <laughs> Well, she's an Aquaman, and now they're trying to take her out of Aquaman because they haven't finished. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, they like haven't... Aquaman two or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? they haven't finished filming it, and they want to take all of her scenes out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that well, that's what they did to Johnny for Paris of the Caribbean. They took him out for the next movie, the upcoming one. He, up- they said he's not. I I guess there's what would be. Pirates of the Caribbean like or something gonna, like that. He's not gonna be like that. No. He's not. He's not playing it. No, I'm not watching it. He he does the movie justice. I, I uh, can I can. He's really that. a good, he's really a good actor. But I, from watching the trial, I can see his pain, um, and his lawyers. That that lady? Oh, that late that Spanish lady? <laughs> she was getting on though. 
Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> Sorry, Carol. I think I've been waiting for this case. Period. Oh, she's gonna get paid. <laughs> gotta get paid money. You hear me? She but, is like, about to get paid something. I guess you can. Is there a way to to weed out all of the the toxicity within the dating stage? Like, if there's no toxic, can you like date long enough to where all the toxic toxic is gone? Like, what if you really love that person, but I think like, it's worse. <laughs> Well, what if you really love that person? How do you, like, say, we're going to call it quits, and I really care about you? Somebody just got to be the bigger person, man. <laughs> you really can't, like. So is it, not, is it not healthy to be with somebody that's toxic? You know they're toxic, but you're like, I got to. I got to. Like, Michael B. Jordan probably knew her history, but he was like, no, nah, I got to. He probably knew her history, but he was probably like, there's probably a different side of her that people really don't right. know. Okay. But that's that's if y'all haven't dated, like, but I'm saying like, I thought you were talking about toxic talks, um, like toxicity when you were like, y'all been dating and then something happens and then y'all keep prolonging it. I thought you, that's, that's what I thought you meant. I mean, that too. Is that two different things? No. Well. Because see, say you were dating and then something pops up and then all of a sudden you you have to make that decision. Am I going to stay or am I going to go? That is true. That is, that is true. Because I, I guess Johnny saw that or uh, whoever saw that and they got divorced. But it still carried on after the divorce. And I guess that's the, the, the cost factor that Steve was talking about. Because <laughs> I don't know if they have children. I, I, they probably don't. I don't think they do. But I'm not for sure, though. Somehow they were still damaged from each other. I think toxic just... That's just a very huge role. Like, if you love someone that hard, especially y'all are married, and then y'all let things prolong so long, even after the, the divorce, and those are still attachments that you have with one another. Especially, like you just said, you don't know if they had kids or not. So especially if they have kids, that's another part that does play into that, where Maybe y'all have to have shared custody now or, you know, different parts because of the kids. The kids may want y'all to get back together. The kids may want y'all to speak to one another or the kids may want to have things where both their parents are present. And it's like, dang, now I got to be in the presence of my ex-husband or my ex-wife. And I really got to put up with you and be happy with you, even though on the back end. Our kids don't know what's going on. Our kids never know, like, both of us were abused or, you know, stuff like that. So, like I said, everything has levels, depending on the side that you look at it from. I, I can agree with that, too, because I'm, I'm so grateful for the parents that I have, even though they got divorced when I was young. They still are cordial with each other. Right. And like, I just had my birthday dinner and they both were there. Mm -hmm. And there's no hate towards them, them, them both. They have um, respect for one another. Yeah. And, and I yeah. think, oh, go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. I was going to say, I think like having a case or even like them two, like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard suing each other, maybe she would then realize. Or even if maybe she won't, but if she goes back and listen to what mm -hmm. she's she what she's been saying, she may be like, dang, I really was like that. But I feel like she's just crazy. She think everything was his fault. <laughs> she said she's going to her dying bed believing what she said. Yeah. Oh, she did say that. <laughs> she did say that. I I did hear that. I did hear that. 
Even though she got to pay that money, she still said she going to her dying bed believing what she said. What well, all they the said she can't pay it. Huh? Her lawyer released a statement saying she is not in a position to <laughs> Wait, what? This is the most serious on everything. So she can't pay? I don't know, I don't know where I saw that at. Let me see. There's no way. All her, well, all her movies are like you. I named a lot of movies, and you like you don't know. A lot of people don't watch her stuff, so maybe she's not getting royalties and stuff. Yeah, days after her lawyer said, <coughs> "Oh, well, I don't know," but I've heard that. I've heard that she is in the position to pay Johnny Depp. <laughs> and that statement was released after she lost the case. Oh, man. Well, really, she didn't have good lawyers. <laughs> I, I don't know what her lawyers are doing, but they weren't helping her. <laughs> oh, man. That was, yeah, that, that was that was that case was something else, but I don't know. Mm. What you guys said about like if if you really do love that person, but both of y'all are toxic. I mean, if you really do love that person, but that like they're toxic or whatever, like how do you leave? Like, okay, coming from a girl's perspective and listening to other girls do with things similar to this. It's hard for them to leave because they become, when I say so attached to this boy, I'm like, girl, I like you. Like, leave him alone. Like, you would hear that in high school and you'd be like, dang, this is really true. Like, you were going outside. But it's also sad because it's like, y'all aren't married. Like, you know, but it's real. Like, coming from a girl's perspective, that is real. It's like, a girl can love a boy so hard to where he can be abusing her. He can, yeah. he, he can do anything to her. Like, emotional damage, mental damage, like, you know, stuff like that. And she gonna stay there because she loves him. That's her ride or die. That's, he pay the bills. He paid the bills. He he's the one that got like you know. Maybe that's it. He works, and she's a stay at home mom getting maybe abused. That's maybe that's it. I I don't have. Uh, I want that sense of security. I guess they they want to feel love, but they don't know what love really looks like. Right, and so they feel like if, like I, I, I've heard this before that there, the some women that are getting abused feel like if they don't hit me, then they don't love me. Yeah, girls think like that too. Like if he don't show, like if he don't fight, like if he don't fight me, he really don't love me because he yeah. he won't let me boss him around and stuff like that. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, so there are levels to this thing, and boy, oh boy. We just wanted to give you a little taste of these two. Uh, it wasn't really um, a big thing with uh, Laurie and Michael B. Jordan. They just broke it off after a year and a half, and uh, people were against her. Uh, but when you said what you said about the age difference and all that stuff, it when people take that stuff into account, then they can really understand that, hey, okay, maybe he's ready, but she's not ready. Not ready. And I really, like, while I was, um, when we were first received the topics, prior to that, I was actually thinking, like, dang, Lori, like, you really gonna do my man like that? 
<laughs> I was kind of those people. I ain't even gonna lie. I was like, dang, she really did him dirty. But then actually, I started thinking, I was like, she's young. And I, I understand where she's coming from. So, yeah. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Just so protective of Michael B. Jordan. Child, please. Davida said the same thing. <laughs> but I don't like him like that. But you, it's just the persona he has. It's like, he's a good boy. He's a good actor. He's never done anything wrong. Publicly, he, there's no bad intentions on him at the moment. So it's like, of course, people just want to take his side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But there's still people that's taken up for Amber Heard. Um, even though she's crazy, there's people still taking up for her, saying that uh, Johnny Depp shouldn't be doing all this to her and all of that. So yeah. it goes both ways. There's always two sides to a story. You just pick your side. That is true. All right, you guys, we thank you for joining us for this week's episode. We hope that you join us on next week. We're on here every Thursday. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with somebody. Let them know what we're doing over here on this YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for joining The Lamp is On. I am Johnny. Peace. Okay, I'm back. I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, so which one we're recording first? The Lord. I really do like that shirt. Where do you get that from? The store. Coles. 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 What the heck is Coles? Coles. With a K. Where is that at? Across the street from the mall? Cool. In the same center as uh as Best Buy. Oh. Nobody go to Coach, Johnny. I do. I see. I had to find red. I had to find red. <laughs> oh, for the thing. Yeah. How did that go? Oh, how did your outfit turn out? Going good. I just, um, uh, I took oh, two sets. Dressy huh? casual. It is. I had on a shirt over this. All right. And Let's I had on get black, it. Black jeans. Let's get it. Pop up on it. I want it. All right. Um, I don't want him to just pop on. Well, he's not going to pop on. Yeah, but, get off to nine. Yeah. So exactly. we're gonna record both or just one right now and gonna, do both. No, because you got you got the nine o'clock thing. Oh yeah. So just one right for right now, and then maybe this weekend. Wait, are you? Hold on. Oh man, that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna hold on. What's what's Friday? Friday is it's Father's Day this weekend, the nineteenth. Mm. <clears throat> I know I'm busy Sunday. I'm busy Saturday. What time is Saturday? Like Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon? Because I'm free I'm Saturday booked. morning. I'm booked Saturday morning. Dang. Look, see this is what happens when you got busy and actually successful and productive people. <laughs> Nothing so, new works out. We got to see. Um, dang, we got to figure out the set. Dang, how do we used to record? When do we? We we did it on um, we did it on Thursdays. I think. I think because we added on Monday. I don't know. Yeah, it was Aaron on Monday. Now we're Aaron on Thursday, which is kind of confusing everything. 
I don't know who told you to air things that's during the, the weekday. Best, anyway. That's the best day. That's that's the beginning of. That's actually the beginning of people uh, weekend, and they get on there on third. Not my 